I have decided to get to know my paint a little bit better. So if you like to join me on this color journey, I'll be very happy to have you along. It all started with that I was going to order some new acrylic paint from a shop online that had a sale on and I wasn't sure which colours I had and which ones I wanted to order again. So I began swatching the colours I already had and when the new colours arrived I filled them in as well and as I started this in a new sketchbook I quickly decided that this will be my colour swatchbook. Oh, and if I haven't introduced myself yet, my name is Lullan and I'm a full-time artist living in Sweden. As I have this big art project in front of me that I really need to work on, it's a mixed media project between watercolours and acrylics. I thought I brush up on my colour theory knowledge and I thought I start with the colour codes and it is not as frightening or complicated as it may sound at first. The Colour Code Index International were first created in 1924 by the Society of Dyes and Colorists and the American Association of Textile Chemists and Colorists. The Colour Code Index International is used by producers of colors and paint all over the world. So for example, white is PV6 and the letters stand for pigment white and the 6 stands for the 6 pigment in the Color Code Index International. One of my favorite yellows, lemon yellow, PY3 and that stands for pigment yellow and the third color in the color index international and that by the way has about 27,000 individual colors or products in it and lemon yellow and white PV6 makes pale lemon also one of my favorites so that one would be easy to mix oneself but I like to reach for a tube of paint but really the color codes are a recipe for you to know how to mix the color yourself. Cobalt blue hue and a hue after a color's name means that a modern pigment has been used instead of the traditional pigment and the hue is better for the environment and also not as toxic for you as a painter. And according to Winsor and Newton, a hue colour is not in any way, shape or form inferior to the traditional pigments, so I guess we have to take their word for it. Together with Hooker's Green, Pale Olive is one of my absolute favourite greens. Pale Olive is made out of white, PV6, Pathalo Green, PG7, Red Iron Oxide, PR101, and yellow oxide PY42. I think that pale olive would be a bit of a challenge to mix oneself so I am so glad that that comes in a tube and that somebody created it because it is one of my favorites. And after creating a terrible mess with deep turquoise as you can see I decided to call it a day. The next day it started to rain and it was too cold to sit on the balcony and I needed a break from swatching colours so I decided to work on my geraniums and the finches and sparrows from the balcony. I painted in the geraniums with process yellow as I thought it might shine through the red but it didn't but at the same time I can't help but thinking that geraniums look really fun in yellow. I got to use two of my new paints on my geraniums that I didn't have before, cadmium red hue and crimson. And as I don't like to use paint that contains cadmium, I am so glad for the hues, which means that cadmium red hue has a modern pigment in it and therefore doesn't contain any cadmium at all.
So after a few days the rain stopped and I was back out on the balcony swatching colours. I started with my light browns and I nearly forgot to add my favourite of titanium to my swatches. Raw Umber and Burnt Umber are both PBR7. They are just prepared in two different ways. One would think it would be the same for Raw Sienna and Burnt Sienna, but it is not. Raw Sienna has PBK9 Ivory Black in it and Burnt Sienna has PBK11 Mask Black in it. I believe that getting to know the pigments and what's inside the colour tubes is like getting to know a friend better and then you can work together better as well. So I do hope that this was a little bit helpful or interesting for you. My plan for the next videos is to make a colourful mixing guide poster, pretty enough to hang on the wall, either as a useful information for an artist or just as a colourful piece of art. And if you liked what you saw, please click like and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. It would make me very happy to have you here. And I hope to see you in my next video. Lots of love.